Welcome everybody to our Curves Workout. Today we're really going to get that heart rate pumping, jumping out of your chest. It's a great cardiovascular workout to strengthen your heart, your lungs, and just your entire body. So get ready for it. Uh, make sure you've got your water, make sure you have a towel, you've got some music playing, crank it up. And also let me know in the comments that you've done the workout so I can make sure everybody gets credit for it. So um, we're going to first start down on the floor. It's going to be a mountain climber. And if you can't get down on the floor, then you're going to do a standing mountain climber, which would look like this. So this is your modification. But let's go ahead and get started down on the floor. So we're going to get in plank position, high, wrist right under your shoulders, and you're going to bring your knees right into your chest. Knees into your chest, just like this. So just check your form, wrists underneath your shoulders. You don't want your butt too high up in the air. And just drive those knees right into your chest. This is great for strengthening those legs, your shoulders. And remember, if you're standing up, you're just gonna reach over your head, bring the knee up. And if you want, you can go a little faster, pick up the pace. Remember, this is cardio, so we wanna burn those calories. You're almost there. Don't stop breathing. If you need to take a quick break, drop your knees, but get right back up to the plank in full mountain climber position. All right, so let's come back up. And now we're gonna do jump squats and a ja jumping jack squat. So arms up like this. You're gonna start low together, up low together. So jumping jack back and forth. And these are wide stances. So nice and wide. And then feet together. Try to stay low the whole time so that we're really strengthening your glutes. Out together, out together. So it's a wide jumping jack and a squat. If you can't do the jumping jack part, then you can just step out, step out. But I want you to stay low. So that way you're still strengthening those legs. But otherwise, let's get right back to that jumping jack squat. Keep moving, almost there girls. All right, so let's get down on the mat again. We're gonna do a V crunch hold. I'll turn to the side. So keeping your back straight, arms are in front of you, lean back a little, you're gonna keep those legs straight and lift them. So we're gonna hold just like this. It's also called a boat pose if you've ever done yoga, but this is a great core strengthener. And you wanna hold this as long as you can. If you can't get down on the floor, you're gonna stand up and your arms will be overhead and you're gonna crunch your toes. Otherwise, you're down here with me. Your legs might start to vibrate right about now. Mine are, you might not be able to see that. But this is tightening that core, which is your obliques, your abdominals, even those hips. Don't let it drop. You can do it just a few more seconds. I know you got it in you. All right. <laughs> Excellent. So now we're going to do speed squats. Feet are shoulder width apart, and we're just going to squat, but we want to go faster. So down and back, down and back. So from the side, keeping that bum back and out so that way you don't compromise your knees. And this is a speed squat. I said, why don't you go fast? Try and time your squat with me. Down and up, down and up. Now, if you can't get down this far, that's okay. Get down and low as to that squat as you can. Remember to breathe, inhale, exhale. You got this. If you need to slow it down, slow it down for a little bit, but then try to push through it because we're almost there. You got this. A few more reps. Feel those legs. All right, so now we're going to sprint on the spot. So we just want to go fast. We're moving fast. So you're pumping those arms on the balls of your feet, and we're just sprinting right on the spot. This is a great cardiovascular move to really increase that heart rate. 
and that's what we want. That's what's gonna burn calories. Get you all set for the weekend. Although that depends on what day you're watching this. All right, keep going, don't let up. Don't start slowing down. You can do this. Keep pumping those arms. Now, if you have to and you can't do this fast, then you can do something quick like this. So a quick little march. But if you can do this, this is where you should be at. It's always okay to be a little uncomfortable. Otherwise, you're not doing enough. So keep going. Sprint on the spot, you're almost there. All right, so we're back down to the floor and we're gonna do a twisting heel to bum. So fingers are facing towards your heels. You're gonna bring your knees and your chest, twisting heel to bum. Extend out, twist heel to bum and repeat. So it's out to get in, out, in. So we're twisting from one side to the other side. This is great for your waistline. Pull it in, stick it out, pull it in, stick it out. Keeping those legs together. Don't let them separate. Now, if you're not down on the floor with me, you're just gonna do a butt kicker. Keep that heart rate going. Drive them in, really twist, pull those heels as close to your bum as you can. And we're just going from one side to the other side. You got this, you're almost there. This is all about that stomach. All right, let's come back up. And we're gonna do a wide squat jump. So first off, let's get wide. You can see I'm wider than the width of the mat. Hands in front of you, you're gonna squat, jump. Squat, jump. There you go, good. Getting low into that squat as you finish out of that jump. There you go, nice and wide. You should feel this. So those inner thigh muscles, those are your adductor muscles. You got this, you're not jumping too high, but it's a wide squat. If you're not able to do the jump, then you're just gonna squat and up, squat and up, squeezing those glutes as you come up. Otherwise, you're here with me. Don't forget to breathe. You got this. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Last one here. All right, shake out those legs. So now we're gonna do a standing donkey kick. I'll do it from the side. So you're gonna find the floor, bend over, take your right leg, drive it up to the ceiling, and then curtsy. Donkey kick with a curtsy. Donkey kick, curtsy. All right, so we're just doing that right leg Right now, drive it up and curtsy. Curtsy means I'm taking that leg behind my other leg. So let's switch. So drive it up, curtsy behind the other leg. So it's a donkey kick first, then you lower into curtsy. Donkey kick and lower. If you're standing up, you can do the same thing standing up. Just take that leg out behind you, kick it out, and then curtsy. Kick it up and out, curtsy. Really driving out those legs. All right, so come on up. Look, you get a break. So if you got water by you, take a sip, keep moving. I like to move side to side, or maybe we just march in place. Make sure you're inhaling up through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth. Moving, you don't wanna stop what you're doing. Because we this is cardio. We gotta keep that heart rate sustained right where it's at. So keep working on it. Alright, so let's get going. Enough of your break. Butt kicker. So you're trying to get your heels to your bum. Alright, heels to bum. Your arms can be stationary like this, or you can pump them. It's your choice. As long as you get those heels come up as high to your bum as you can. Because you literally want to kick yourself in the butt. You got this. How's everybody doing out there? It's great. Open up those lungs. Burn those calories. You're going to feel so accomplished after your workout. Don't stop moving. I haven't moved on the next one yet, so I don't want you either. Keep up. Kick in. You got this. 
Heel the bum, heel the bum. Keep going. Or maybe you slow it down, or maybe your heels will come up as high, but don't stop. All right, so now I'm gonna start at the back of the mat. We're gonna do an alternating prisoner lunge. Hands behind the ears. I'm gonna step forward first with your left leg. Feet together, right leg, feet together. Alternate, one leg after another. Your ultimate goal is to get that knee all the way down to the floor. Maybe you're not there yet, that's okay. Over time, as you develop more strength, flexibility, you'll be able to get there. So lunge forward, feet back together. Now I want you to check your form here. Your elbows should be pushed back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. It's not just about the legs, we're getting the shoulders, we're strengthening your back, even that core. It's also great for balance. Keep moving, you got this. Last one here. All right, so we're gonna take it down to the mat. And we're gonna do a push-up with the knee tap. So, I'm gonna first start in my push-up position. I'm gonna push up knee to elbow. Actually, push up. Tap that knee, push up, tap the other knee. So push up, knee tap, push up, knee tap. So you're alternating one hand to the opposite knee. If you're not able to get yet on your toes, not yet, you can do this move from your knees, but still add that knee tap. Maybe you can't get down on the floor with me all, then just do a push up from the wall, okay? Push up, knee tap, push up, knee tap. Great shoulder strength right here, you got this. You're almost done. A few more reps. All right, last one there, good job. All right, so we're going to do now, everybody's favorite, a half burpee. So we're not gonna do the jump. So we're going to squat, touch the ground, jump those legs back, jump them up, stand up. So squat, touch the ground, jump back, jump in, stand up. So the part we're just taking out is that extra little jump at the end. <laughs> you can thank me later. Jump out, jump in, stand up. If you can't do the jump out, you can always walk your legs out walk them back up, and then stand up, okay? Otherwise, jump them back and forth. Or you can just bend down and touch those toes and come back up. All right, so we're back to the beginning with those mountain climbers. So modification, if you're not on the ground, will look like this. So you're reaching one arm over the head as the opposite knee comes up. But I wanna be down on the mat. So, we're on our hands and knees. Check your wrists or right on the shoulders. And let's start climbing that mountain. You can go faster. You can go slower. It's up to you, but if it's too easy, then you need to change it up. Check your form. Wrist should be over your, or underneath your shoulders. Keep going. Keep the core muscles tight. You got this. Don't stop. We're almost through it. A few more reps. All right, let's jump up. Okay, so now we're gonna do those jumping jacks in the squat. So, wide stance, arms like here. We're gonna squat and jump. So you can see I'm staying low. You wanna be low the whole time. So we're not coming up. We don't want those legs to get a break. <laughs> no break for the legs. So feet go out together, out together. There you go, good. Now you know if you're not able to do the jumping part, how to modify it. Tap out, tap out. Staying low so you still work those legs. Otherwise you're here. Hope you're still with me and breathing. You're doing great. Keep it 
yoga. This is the most important 30 minutes of your day. Last one here. All right, shake out those legs. We're going back down the mat. Before we do that, I'll show you the modification. Toe tap. So if you're standing up, you're gonna bend over and tap your toes as you crunch over. Otherwise, get down on the floor with me. Your arms are gonna be straight out in front of you. Lean back slightly and raise those legs. You wanna keep those legs nice and straight. You're targeting here, your core, your stomach your waist, your lower back too. You're standing up, keep doing those toe tap crunches. Arms are straight, head is up off your, chin's off your chest. My legs are starting to shake. That just tells me it's working. <laughs> this is good, you're almost there ladies. Hold on, find your happy place, you can do this. You're almost there and change. <laughs> All right, so now, we're gonna work those legs. Let's do a speed squat. So we're gonna move fast here, okay? Try to keep up with me. Match your squat with mine, because it's fast. It's a speed squat, okay? You're gonna butt bum back and out. So from the side, it was like this. So you're not compromising your knees, like you're sitting down in that chair and you wanna move fast, so it's a race. How many squats you get done? The weight should be in those heels. That takes the impact off the knees. But a squat is great for your knees because you're strengthening the quads and hamstrings that support it, which is gonna in turn make it stronger. Almost there. Keep squatting, you're not done yet. You can rest when we're done. Last one here. All right, march in place. This is your water break time. You need to stop and check your heart rate on your watch or the old fashioned way. Just keep moving. I'll give you a few seconds to grab that water, catch your breath. You guys are doing awesome. I'm so proud of you for being here today. Whether it's Morning workout, even new workout, doesn't matter as long as you get your workout in, right? All right, so let's start moving faster with our sprints on the spot. So move those little legs. You got this, pump those arms. We can't let that heart rate drop. You work too hard to get it up where it's at. Hopefully it's thumping out of your chest and you're starting to glisten. You're doing great, keep moving, keep moving. Open those arms. Just don't forget about your breathing. You don't want to hold your breath. And you're inhaling through the nose and you're exhaling through your mouth. If you need to go a little slower, go a little slower. That's okay too. There's not one workout that's exactly the same. Everybody's at their own level, but you just need to progress. So keep moving, don't stop. We're not there yet. Keep moving those little feet. All right, so now we're gonna go down on the floor to work the core, twisting um, heel to bum. But if you're standing up this time, I want you to do elbow to opposite knee. This is what you'll do standing up. Otherwise, we're gonna get down to the floor, fingers facing your toes, knees to your chest, elongate your legs, pull them into your chest. Elongate other side, pull your chest, and repeat. So you're twisting from one side to the other. Okay. Trying to keep those legs together. Don't let them separate. And you want those legs to go out straight, pull in, straight, pull in. So you feel a good rotation in that core. You're doing an awesome job. Inhaling, exhaling. Don't want to ever hold your breath. You're almost there, ladies. Really pull it in, twist from side to side, and last one. Okay, so we're gonna come up, and we're gonna get into that wide squat, and we're gonna add that jump. So, this time, hands out in front of you, you're gonna squat, jump, squat, jump. So we're not jumping too high, and it doesn't have to be to be effective, but your toes should be pointed out, so 
So we're basically doing a sumo squat with a jump. Arms out in front of you, shoulders and back are nice and straight. Good. If you can't do the jump, you know what you can do. Just come up and down, up and down. If you've got the bad knees, maybe your squat isn't as deep. Maybe it's to here. But find your place. Find what works for you, what's going to challenge you. You're almost there. A few more jumps. Legs feel like noodles. All right, shake it out. Now we're going to go to that donkey kick with the curtsy. Standing up. If you've got a wall, you can lean against the wall. Do a kick like this with a curtsy. Donkey kick, curtsy. Otherwise, we're going to do it on the floor. So, hands on the ground. Start with right leg first. You're going to donkey kick, curtsy. Donkey kick, curtsy. So, we're trying to burn out that left leg. You want to drive that right leg high up in the air and then drop it behind your left with a curtsy. Couple more here, then we'll switch. Last one, switch legs, donkey kick, curtsy, donkey with a curtsy. So you're either down here with me or you're standing up, doing the same thing, almost. Last one here, last donkey with curtsy. All right, good, okay. Heart rate's starting to fall. Ah, butt kickers. Here we go, kicking that bum. How's everybody doing? You got this, so a butt kicker means literally that. You're kicking yourself in the butt. Hands can be stationary in front, or you can move them. If this is too high intensity for you, then you could do this. Pull the heel to the bum. Pull those elbows back. Otherwise, you're here. Just find what works for you. But biggest thing, don't stop. Don't give up. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but if it was easy, anybody could do it. So don't give up. All right, so let's do those prisoner lunges. Stand at the back of your mat. Fingers are behind your ears. You're gonna lunge forward, step back. Lunge forward, step back. Taking that rear knee to the ground if you can. If you cannot, then don't. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you to. You know what your legs are capable of. There you go, keep going. Now this is a form check. I wanna make sure those elbows are pushing back, squeezing those big rhomboid muscles, those are your back muscles. Feet together, lunge all the way out, feet together, lunge all the way out. Doing awesome. I can feel we're getting close to the end. Almost there. Keep those lunges. It's good for your balance too. All right, so let's go right to the floor. We're gonna do that push up with the knee tap. You ladies standing up, push up on the wall, okay? So we're gonna get in that high push up position. We're gonna first do the push up, then we're gonna tap the knee. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Push up, knee tap. Push up, knee tap. So push ups in their own right aren't easy. And when you add that knee tap, you add some extra imbalance, which means you're gonna strengthen your core even better. That's a good thing. If you're not able to get on your hands and toes, you can do the other kind of push-up, which looks like this. Just make sure you're elongating your body. So push-up, knee tap. Push-up, knee tap. Otherwise, you're up here. Last one, other knee. All right, good job. All right, everybody's favorite time, half burpee. So remember, we're doing the burpee, but without that added jump. Modification, we're gonna squat, touch the ground, come up. Squat, touch the ground, 
come up. That's your modification. But let's do the full half burpee. Squat, touch the ground, jump your feet back, jump them up, stand up. Touch the ground, jump back, jump up, stand up. Remember, if you can't jump back and forth, you can walk your feet out and you can walk them back in. So we got three different variations for you. So no excuses. You can do this. All right, you're almost there. Jump up, stand up. Last one here, jump back, jump up, stand up. And now it's done. It's your heart rate check time. It's your water break. It's your towel, it's your whatever you need. Keep moving the body. So as you're grabbing what you need, we're just gonna bring those arms out in front and out to the side. Cross them one over the other. We're gonna slowly bring that heart rate down. All right, good. Now I want you to reach from side to side. So left, right, left, and right. And you're tapping your foot as you reach. So we're stretching out that back, those shoulders while still bringing that heart rate down. Now go up, overhead, and reach. We use a lot of those shoulders today. So we gotta stretch them out. So reach overhead. Now reach low, step, reach low. There you go. If you can touch the ground, awesome. If not, that's okay. We're just slowing it down. Reach and step, reach and step. All right, so let's go ahead and stretch out those quadricep muscles. So you're gonna grab your ankle, pull it behind your bum, and pull that knee and your heel as close to your bum as you can. If you need a chair to hold on to, you can or your arm can be out to the side or right here on your hip, doesn't matter. This is stretching out those quadricep muscles, the front of the thigh. Let's switch. Again, if you need to hold on to something, grab that heel, pull it up to your bum, hand can be on your hip, out to the side, doesn't matter. All right, let's do a lunge. So take that left foot forward, Bend that front knee, your back leg is straight. And you're gonna reach up, arms over your head, and we're gonna reach up, alternating each arm, reaching towards that ceiling. This is stretching those shoulders, your neck, that upper back, and just keep reaching while you keep breathing. You're almost there. All right, let's switch legs. So right leg goes in front, this knee's bent, and continue that reach. Stretching all those joints out. You never want to skip your stretches. This helps prolong your calorie burn after your workout. So you're burning more calories right now. So why would you want to stop? Plus it feels good to really stretch out those joints. All right, that looks good. So let's get those inner thighs. We worked a lot of that today. So. You've got one foot pointed straight, the other one at an angle. And I'm just gonna lunge down, lifting that toe up. Now I'm reaching towards the floor, which you can, but maybe you're right here above your knee. That works okay too, just so you can feel it right here in that inner thigh. All right, looks good. Now let's switch, turn that foot straight, turn that one out, reach to the floor. Chest is up, head is up, or right here above your knee. You got this. All right, plant both feet. You're going to walk them together and we're gonna reach down and try to bend and stretch the toes. All right, so if you can grab your toes, great. If not, maybe you're at your ankles or your shins. But I want you to squat and then just slowly roll your body back up. Excellent. And we're gonna take one arm across the body, the other one will pull it gently towards your body. Make sure your shoulder isn't too lifted by your ear. Nice and dropped here, good. Still breathing, I hope. Now, other side, just like this, good. 
again, thank you for taking the time to be with me today. It's important that you do take that me time. We're so busy taking care of others that sometimes we forget about ourselves and you're worth it every moment of it. All right, let's take one big inhale up, big exhale, sweep the ground, big inhale, big exhale through your mouth. Last one here, inhale, big last exhale. All right, bravo ladies, congratulations on completing your cardio workout. Virtual high fives to everybody. Um, make sure you tune in regularly to see what other workouts we're adding. And if you haven't made a comment yet, let me know. Hey Chris, I did your workout today um, because I love to hear from you. So have a great rest of your day and thanks again for joining me.